Counting down now to first pitch in South Florida. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Humid night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, the third of this four-game series, as it'll be the Colorado Rockies taking on the Florida Marlins. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here to take you through this one. With me, as always, are former big leaguers Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And, Soup, you've been at this for a long time now. What catches your eye when we look at a matchup like this? Well, one guy you have to enjoy watching play the game is Dan Ugla. He's one of those guys that actually reminds me a little bit of HUD. He's scrappy, gives you his all on the field, and can steal a base if need be, and he can hit. His hair's not quite as nice as Rex's, but you get the idea. All right, Dave, thank you. We'll get to HUD shortly, but first, let's take a look at our starting lineup for the visiting Colorado Rockies. It's brought to us by State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. They'll match up against one of the top prospects around, a former North Carolina star, left-hander Andrew Miller. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Well, there you see Dexter Fowler as he'll be the one to commence the action in the bottom half of the first. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Good late break there. Good pitch to get ahead on. And now a pitch on the way. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Ah, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Still a warm one tonight, 87 degrees here at first pitch. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here he comes again, 1-2. Ooh, awfully close to strike three. Probably should have been strike three. Instead, it's 2-2 two and two now. Man, a nasty slider there. Could have very easily rung him up. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. These long at bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. And it's deep breath time out on the mound now. Not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also he just walked the fastest guy in a 10 mile radius. Not what he wanted to do. Seth Smith will take his cuts now. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. Got to credit their patience here in this inning. 
They're just letting him work himself into trouble. He's set, now the pitch. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. A walk and a base hit now have him in business here to start the game. I don't imagine this was the start he was envisioning warming up out in the bullpen. Troy Tulowitzki will get his first shot at it here. And Tulowitzki lifts this ball down the left field line, but it'll wind up hooking foul back up into the seats. Runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. A tag from Bonifacio, and he's out at third base. Boy, talk about running yourself out of an inning. That guy's in scoring position with nobody out, but he foolishly tried to take third. Fouled back. There we go. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. And he likes to throw that slider off the fastball. Might want to make a mental note of that one. Runners on first with one down. And the fastball is lined into center field. That's a base hit. The relay. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Yeah, trying to get aggressive and take third on the single. But that's going to prove to be a bad decision. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and in steps first baseman Jason Giambi. Ball one. Really got to jump on this guy now while he's rattled. A runner on first with two away. Now the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And that thing started in the zone, so that's a good job to hold back at the last second. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing comes of it. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Marlins looks like this. Again, courtesy of State Farm. They'll match up against a guy who's really turned his career around the past couple of years, right-hander Tim Redding. Now a quick look at the defensive alignment for the Rockies. And 
now the center fielder Johnny Damon's in to kick off the home half of the first. Ball one. And they've really kept him in check in this series. Just one for nine so far. Here's the 1-0 now to Damon. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. I mean, you talk about not getting extended. My goodness. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. And he's given them three straight fastballs, but it could very well be the curveball they call on here. Swing and a high pop-up to the left side. Mora will wait on it. And he's got it for out number one. And you can see his numbers from the last time out. He was a winner the last time he took the mound, so he'll hope for more of the same here tonight. Leadoff man retired. Here's the left fielder, Chris Coughlin. And here's the first pitch. And he'll go the other way with the fastball as this is on the ground to third. And a throw to Giambi's in time for route number two. Well, you always want to avoid using a lot of energy in the early part of the game. And he's taken that to heart. Five pitches and two outs already here in the bottom of the first. Hanley Ramirez will be the batter. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And this guy at the plate has gone deep 22 times this year. So be careful with him up there. Two and oh. And he's had a pretty good look at those first two pitches. Be aware, two and oh. Ball three. And even though it's just the first, I'd be surprised if he gets anything good here on 3-0. and oh. Here it comes, 3-0. -oh. And this is pulled on the ground for Mora at third. What a stop by Mora. And look at Giambi fish that one out of the dirt. A nice play. The big fella ends the inning. Nothing in the Florida first. We played an inning in South Florida. No score here on the show. Melvin Mora leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now here it comes. And yeah. a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. And now that you've seen what that strike zone's going to be like, you're going to have to adjust. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. And he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you?
Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here it comes. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. But that'll be off the teal monster out there in left. The relay. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Leadoff double right there to kick off the second inning. And now they're in good shape to try and push across that first run of the ball game. Ryan Spielborgs will get his first cuts here. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. And they've bottled him up pretty good so far. Just two for ten in this series. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. And he's keeping the fastball low at least. That's all right. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Already got bit by the leadoff double. Now he's falling behind again. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. And at three and one, you can afford to look for something up a little. So he wasn't going to bite on that low one. Clint Barmas will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. And he gets yeah. ahead 0-1. Oh, Line hard to the left side. But foul. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Ready with another 0-2. And he goes up the ladder on him but he lays off 1-2. and two. Yeah, I just wanted to show him fastball in 0-2. This next pitch will probably be something different. Out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Oof. When you say hello to a 94-mile-an-hour fastball, that's never a good feeling. We'll see you in the Whirlpool tonight, no doubt about it. Chris Iannetta digs in now with a chance to do a little damage and give his club the lead in the early going. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. Just off the plate and high, ball one. And still, nobody out here, so you need to straighten out your location problems in a hurry. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And, oh, look out! As that pitch ran in and got him. And that's going to force in a run. A run is in. Well, that's what I call getting an RBI the hard way, but he'll take it. Tim Redding will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on.
And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Just one RBI for him on the year, but he's got a chance to help himself out here. And there's ball one. And your one job here is to not hit into a double play. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Fastball called strike, one and two. Oh, that is pitching right there. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And a little tapper up the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Oh, and that'll chap you as a hitter. Striking out with the bases loaded? Man, he'll want to bite his lumber in half on the way back to the dugout. Dexter Fowler will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. And a fastball for Miller as he jumps ahead, nothing in one. And that last strikeout may have given him new life as he jumps ahead of the next guy as well. Comes set, now the pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Ross is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. But too late, and he's safe at third. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time as you got to figure he got the job done there. Seth Smith will dig in. He singled his first time around. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. And if guys are going to go ahead and wear that armor on their elbow, they better expect to get backed off the plate every now and then. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Bonifacio has got it, and the side is retired. So two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Rockies two and the Marlins nothing. Dan Ugla will start things off in the bottom of the second. in there and it's 0 and 1 and for the most part he's been held in check in the series so far just two for nine and this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. Let's go, Marlin! Now a hard hit ball back up the middle, and the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. 
And this is something they have not been doing a whole lot of during this losing streak, and that's getting the leadoff man on base. Now they need to work on something else that's been lacking, and that's getting the guy home. Cody Ross will be the batter. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Mm, real good location with that fastball early on. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. On the ground for Mora. This could be two. Barmas back to Giambi, and they get the double play. And so much for that first hit of the ball game as he gets sent packing here on a well-turned double play. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. High in the air out to center field. Spielborgs is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing doing for the Marlins. They trail it here two to nothing. Troy Tulowitzki ready to go here as we begin the third. First pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Ah, and this is something you don't want to see. We mentioned at the top of the broadcast that he was going to try to play through the hamstring injury, but it certainly looks from up here that he's re-aggravated it somehow. Gabby Sanchez will come in as the new third baseman now following the injury. Leadoff man retired, and that brings in Jason Giambi. Jason Giambi. Come out. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. Boy, where'd that miss? Rough way to start an A-B on the mound. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a base hit. Well, they got him to hit right into the shift, but even with three guys over there, they still couldn't get to this one. Just a little unlucky there. So a runner at first with one man gone and set to take his cuts is third baseman Melvin Mora. Now here's the first pitch. 
And hmm, a fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Oh, and that's the same strike Ed Coleman always used to call on me. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Ooh, he almost kneecapped him there. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Ross is right there as he takes it for the second out. And these guys have really hit this pitcher hard. Even their outs in the outfielder line drives. Ryan Spielborgs will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And no threat to run over there at first, so with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rockies two and the Marlins nothing. John Baker makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. One and one. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Ah, oh, and you get all keyed up for your first at-bat of the game, and what do you do? A pop-up to the catcher. That'll burn at you a bit. Gabby Sanchez will step in now. Now the first pitch. And waiting for him to call a strike, but he never did. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and I think the home plate umpire just flat missed that one. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's 1-1. One and one. And Ed Coleman's known for calling that low strike. Gotta watch out for that. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball.
Swing and a miss. Got him with the slurve there. Two gone. And this is just more of a slurve here. Just kind of a big frisbee, and he had no answer for it. Andrew Miller will dig in here. Andrew Miller. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The pitch. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And now a chance for the third baseman, Mora. Throw on to Giambi, takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They're still down, it's 2-0. Clint Barmas will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Pitch on the way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And Barmas will lay off again, and it's 2-0 and to him now. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Ball three, three and oh. Yeah, step off, take a deep breath here. You don't want to walk the leadoff guy on four pitches. Now the three oh pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands a number four. Starting to get tired out there, no doubt about it. You see the numbers right there? Three walks allowed now, and he might be about to hit the wall pretty soon. Chris Iannetta will try it again. He was hit by a pitch his first time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Yeah, they go right back inside after hitting him the first time around. At first is Barmas, the pitch. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 oh now. Six straight now out of the zone here to start this inning. On, cut that down. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Two runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Well, it looked like he was fooled a bit on that swing, but he was able to hustle down the line, and that'll go as an infield single. Here comes Marlin skipper Freddy Gonzalez on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move here as that'll do it for Andrew Miller. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Burke Badenhop will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season.
Tim Redding will stand in, and you can almost guarantee he'll be trying to move those runners here. First pitch coming. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And the infield's ready for the bunt, should that sign be put on right here. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. And they'll have to go to Ugla covering the bag at first as the sacrifice is a good one. Well, this is a tough situation because everybody in the ballpark knows what he's going to do, but he gets it down and moves both guys up. Dexter Fowler will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. First pitch coming. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. And, and they've got a chance to double this lead to 4-0 if he can come through. So this is a big A-B. Cold strike 0-2. Oh, and one thing you just can't have here at the plate is a strikeout. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And oh boy, we hit on this at the top of the broadcast. He said he'd give it a go in this one despite the elbow problem, but it looked like something went wrong on that pitch because he clearly has re-aggravated something in there. Brian Sanchez will be summoned now to take over following the injury. Seth Smith will step in, one for two in the ball game. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. And now one more major hurdle to get through here. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And remember, he's got a base open, so he can pick who he wants to pitch to here. Lays off again, ball three. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, not making excuses, Matt, but sometimes it's hard to make that adjustment from the bullpen mound to that mound between the white lines. Troy Tulowitzki will stride in, grounded out his last time three. First pitch to him. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. 
So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Rockies two and the Marlins nothing. A look at the National League scoreboard as we get the latest on what's happening in the senior circuit. So it's back to the top of the order now, and in steps the left-handed hitting Johnny Damon. And this is fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Foul back. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Yeah, trying to change the sight line there. That's a smart way to work. Swing and a miss by Damon as he set down on strikes and there's one away. Good fastball there as we check it out on swing track. You're going to see that he might have been looking for something a little higher in the zone because he just swings right over the top of it. Chris Coglin steps in now. Swing and a ball line softly to left. Smith will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. And he's really taking command here in the early stages. That's seven in a row he's set down. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. And now at the plate, you got to do something to get this guy out of the roll he's been on. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. And he takes a cold strike one. And look how calm he looks out there. His tempo looks really good right now. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Line hard to center field. Spielboards will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Florida down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Jason Giambi will step in. One for two in the ball game. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 
And they continue to work him away, even with the shift on. A simple grounder to third could wind up a double. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Oh, and the shift works to perfection right there. This is probably a base hit if they're playing normal, but they've got the shortstop in the right place as he throws him out. Nice. So one away now for Melvin Mora. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. Really? And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. And he misses badly with that one, 3-0. and oh. Showing real good patience there at the plate. Tucked one in there, let's go! And this pitch is lined into right field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. Off to a very hot start here in the series. Five for nine since it began, and they're going to need to start pitching around him a bit. So a new pitcher will come on now as we see the right-hander Jose Veras take over. Ryan Spielborgs. We'll dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Mora holds now the pitch. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. And this is their fourth pitcher of the night, so there's not much left after this. Ball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And that thing's coming in there hot, 96 miles an hour. Double play for crying out loud. On a great pitch there as that completely locked him up and he's down on strikes for the second out. And that's the second time he's gone down on strikes in the ball game. The fifth of the series alone. Just not seeing the ball real well. Clint Barmas will stand in. Base on balls his last time. First pitch coming. And a ball, 1-0. Well, he's hitless so far as he looks to push his hitting streak to seven games. And now the Marlins' bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. And now here's a ball grounded oh. foul over toward third. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. Oh. 
three and one. And now you wonder if he'll get the same pitch three and one that he did on two and oh. Fouled straight back. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Here's a ground ball to first. And Cantu will take this one to the bag by himself, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Last half of the fifth coming up, Rockies lead it two to nothing. Dan Ugla will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Hit hard down the right field line, but a foul ball. Chases one up the ladder as this is hit in the air to left field. There to take it is Smith, and that's out number one. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Cody Ross digs in at the plate. towards straightaway center field. Spielboards is there, two gone. Add one more to the streak, 10 straight he's retired, and they're not even getting good at bats right now. Jorge Cantu will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss on the slurve. Strike one. Boy, he's just sailing along now. And the pitch. And that misses one and one. And this crowd's falling into a bit of a lull here in the middle innings. as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Spielborgs is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail it here, two to nothing. Chris Iannetta will lead things off for Colorado as they look to get something started in their half of the sixth. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. That's a ball. Wait. And he misses with it one and one. And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. One one on the way. 
swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and two now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Here's a good look from the side angle. This is in show motion. And you can see this cross right over the knees. That's close, but it's the right call. Tim Redding will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. You gotta turn him loose now. And he lays off for ball one. Gotta look to try and slap that thing the other way. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this is popped high in the air back near second. And there's out number two. Well, that's four straight he's retired since coming in. Good work out of the pen thus far. Dexter Fowler will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And that misses for ball one. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 and now. Strike called, two and one. Right back inside with the fastball. This time he got the call. Two runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Now the pitch. Too high that time, and it's three and one. And you don't want this inning to go any further than this, so I think he'll probably get something to hit here. Runs up to Bunn here and pops this one up. Veris is there and he makes the catch for the out. Nothing doing here this half. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9. Due up in the home half. Rockies lead this one 2 to nothing. Leading off for the Marlins. John Baker will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. First pitch on the way. Come on, and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. Slowly down the line to third. Could be a tough play. Barehanded by Mora. And this throw sails over the head of Giambi. Well, everything looked to be okay here on the pickup and the transfer, but then you see him fire this thing straight into the box seats down there. That's going to be scored in E5.
Gabby Sanchez will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And this ball will be chopped foul. A runner at second, nobody out. He waits, now the pitch. Ball one. And I'll tell you, when he's missed, he's barely missed. Everything's been around the strike zone. Swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. Pro by Barmas gets him for route number one. Just really struggling to get anything going offensively right now. Even balls that are hit somewhat sharply are right at guys, and there's another example there. Cameron Mabin will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. off there 1-0 and this is where you need to do some situational hitting just a ground ball up the middle here will get this run home the next pitch swung on and missed one and one oh and he's got such a good flow going right now Called strike one and two. And you can tell he's really in his zone out there now. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. Well, that move backfired on him. Now there are two gone in the inning, and they're no better shape than they were a minute ago. Johnny Damon will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Low for oh, bowl low. 1. And that's an intelligent hitter for you. He knows that pitch will break down and out of the zone. Let's go! Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw on to first and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. And that's six shutout innings thus far as he's been very difficult to solve. We're through six full. It's the Rockies two and the Marlins nothing. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. A new pitcher is set to go now, so we'll get a look at the Venezuelan-born left-hander, Reniel Pinto. Seth Smith start out the inning for the Rockies, to be followed by Troy Tulowitzki waiting on deck. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. 
And this is the fifth pitcher they've used in the ball game. So that bullpen's getting awfully lonely down there. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Now the one one. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And there you'll get a look at the stadium here in Miami. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler here with the call from South Florida. With one away, that'll bring in the shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. Tulowitzki swinging and sends one out to shortstop. There to take it is Ramirez. On to first, and Tulowitzki grounds out here. Two away. Jason Giambi will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And this will be fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball lined to the right side. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Three up, three down for Colorado. But they hold a 2-0 lead. Chris Coughlin will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Leading it off, left fielder, Rick Coughlin. And he takes ball one. Now let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. And this part of the order needs to really step things up. Coughlin awaiting the 1-1. One, one. Swing, and ooh, he saws him off with that one. But this will be a foul ball. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Oh, and he nonchalanted that one as it costs him and goes right by him. Well, when you're getting shut out, you'll take any assistance you can get to help you get on the scoreboard. Earned or not, you've got to find a way to get into that run column. Hanley Ramirez will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And you've got a runner at first who likes to run early in the count, so maybe they think about pitching out here on 0-1. 
Nobody out, runner on first. And here's a fastball called for strike two. And he might be just taking pitches waiting for his base runner to go, but he can't take any more. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Yeah, that's a good two-strike pitch. And he's still got some count leverage here, so he doesn't need to challenge here either. From the stretch. And this is swung on and missed that time by Ramirez, a strikeout victim, and there's one away. And he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch breakdown so far. Dan Ugla will dig in one for two thus far. This is ball one. And if it weren't for this guy's hit earlier, we'd be having a no-hitter going in the seventh inning right now. And this one's too far inside, ball two. And this is the game within the game here. Do you keep pitching around him on 2-0 and or come back at him with something? the belt kicks and deals now a pitch swung on and missed it's two and one third time through the lineup for these guys now and they haven't done a whole lot to this point in the air to straightaway center field spillboards is there now and he has it two gone Still looking for that first run of the ball game. Thought for a second this might be it, but it just didn't have enough steam behind it. Cody Ross will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. From the belt, the pitch. Out in front of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. Throw on to Barmas for the force, and that'll end the inning. Seven shutout innings for him thus far, as he's really been in control here. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Rockies two and the Marlins nothing. Melvin Mora will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Ball one. And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started. The 1-0 pitch. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. That would have been a good one to offer at there. And now we'll fall behind Mora here, two and one. Yeah. 
And he misses again, ball three. And you want to at least make the Rockies earn the leadoff base runner. You do not want to walk him here. Oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Boy, and his strike zone's gone right out the door here these past few innings. Here's the full count offering. And a close pitch there on three and two, but no dice, says Ed Coleman behind the plate. It's ball four. Setting up at the knees that time on three and two. Let's see how close this thing actually was. Hmm, pretty close, but that looked like the right call. Ryan Spielborgs will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Ball one. Well, if he needed to pick a time to come up with his first hit of the series, this would be as good as any. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now and a real sharp break on that one that got in on him real quick a runner at first with no outs here and this is bounced weakly down the line a foul ball He'll try again, one, two. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And this will get on by Ramirez for a base hit. The throw to third. And he'll make it over to third, so now the Rockies have something brewing to kick off the inning. And here comes a little pressure for one of the first times tonight. Runners at the corners now with one away, so this is an opportunity they need to take advantage of. New pitcher set to come on here as Corey Wade makes his way toward the mound. Clint Barmas will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And stepping in the young catcher, Chris Iannetta. Here's the first offering. Right there for strike one. one nice strike. little insurance run out there at second. And Ionetta can't come up with that one as he swings through it for strike two now. Boy, and you've got to like the drama of a low-scoring game where every pitch means something.
checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Misses. Ball two. And now's where I think you have to sit change up and react fastball. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. He is really making him work out there. The 3-2 pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And that drops in front of Damon. A base hit. And the run will come across to score from second. And they open it up to 4-0 now. Hey, when you've got a guy going for a shutout, may as well get him some more help. I doubt he'll need it, but they're able to add on for him here. Tim Redding will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Dexter Fowler will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And that's what speed does. Just a little ground ball here, but he's hustling all the way and beats it out for an infield single. Seth Smith will be the batter. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. He's going to have to punch his way off the ropes now. Fastball, and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. Ross will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Colorado's out in front, four to nothing. Jorge Cantu will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on the way. Hit hard to the right, but foul. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Low and away with that one, it's one and two. And here in the eighth inning, he's amazingly still just two over the minimum. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. 
And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. And guys, these guys have gone a long time without a base runner. You have to go all the way back to the second inning for their last one as they haven't been able to solve this guy at all. John Baker will be the batter. Here's the first pitch. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. And he's hardly even had to work out of the stretch so far. This is almost like a new experience for him out there. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And he has just owned that outside part of the plate tonight. This is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. And a foul ball straight back. Nobody out, runner on first. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Mm, I think that's the one he wanted to swing at, but he wouldn't do it. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. And a slur, but this is in the dirt for a ball. Boy, had a good job anticipating that pitch in the dirt. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Well, you can see by the numbers right there, just his first walk allowed, and it comes this late in the ball game. Just shows that when you keep the ball down around the strike zone, normally good things will happen. Gabby Sanchez will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Ball in there for a cold strike. And the rally caps are out in force now. As a look, now the pitch. On the ground for Mora. This could be two. Barmas back to Giambi, and they get the double play. Just seems like every time this club gets itself into position to start a rally, they shoot themselves right in the foot. Here's another great opportunity. First and second, nobody out. And this double play will wind up hurting big time. Mike Karp will take his cuts now. Now here's the first pitch, and he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, and, and this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. A man on third with two down. Slurred, and he jumps ahead here, 0-2. Oh, no taken now, he's going to have to swing the bat.
Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. And that's going to be high 2-2 two and two now. 2-2, two, two, two outs, a four-run lead. I think he comes right at him here. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. Barmus is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Make it eight shutout innings now as he's been lights out on the mound. We've played eight full. The Rockies are out in front, four to nothing. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Matt Thornton will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Troy Tulowitzki get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this one misses to Tulowitzki. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Nothing but zeros in the run column to this point as you get a look at what's coming up in the bottom of the ninth as they'll try to at least find their way onto the scoreboard and ruin the shutout. Jason Giambi will step in. One for four in the ballgame. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. One out, nobody on. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Yeah, battled him back to even. Now you got to think about that slider running away. Strike. And ring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. Well, sometimes hitters can have problems picking up the baseball in night games. Not giving him any excuses, but it is a possibility. 
Melvin Mora will be the batter. Two for three with a double thus far. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. Grounded foul. That's foul. He'll try again, one, two. Now ball hit toward third, but this foul is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. The longer this at bat goes, the more it swings into a hitter's favor. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Ha! Oh, this is an unbelievable at bat. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And a close pitch there on three and two, but no dice, says Ed Coleman behind the plate. It's ball four. He looked good in setting down the first two guys of the inning, but now we'll see if that two-out walk comes back to bite him. Leo Nunez is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Oh, yeah! Ryan Spielborgs will get another crack, one for three thus far. It's a fastball called for strike one. And that's a power fastball right there at 94. He really slings it in there. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Two out with the man at first. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. Rockies lead this one 4 to nothing. Johnny Damon will stride in, grounded out his last time through.
In tight there as he's got a turn out of the way of that one. And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. and And if he can keep things rolling on the mound, he's in line for his first shutout of the season. Now the 2-0. Now a hard liner towards short. And that is going to be a base hit. And a rarity for him right there. Just their third hit of the ball game, and it comes in inning number nine. They've had the bats completely taken out of their hands so far. Chris Coughlin will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. and And he's starting to get up there in pitches now. Worth keeping an eye on. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. Starting to rush out there a little bit now. He's got to take his time and focus on the glove. Here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. And this pitching staff's done a pretty good job with him in the series. Two one pitch is swung on and hit in the air out to center field. Spielborgs is right there, one down. And you can tell that the ball's just not carrying here tonight. It looked like he got that one pretty good, but it just hung up there for an easy flyout. Hanley Ramirez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. And with one out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Runners on first with one down. Now it's 2-0. And when you need a double play ball, I don't see the logic of working this guy up in the zone. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball. Lined up the middle. And Ramirez is aboard, hits a base hit. And he'll make it over to third base safely, so that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. And maybe a chance here to put a dent in that scoreboard after all. A couple of guys on base here now in the late going, and you can bet these guys would love to avoid the shutout if at all possible. Dan Ugla will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. And he'll try to keep the ball down here and maybe try to get that one final double play ball to end it. 
Runners are at first and third, one away. And here's a very close pitch up around the letters. Looked good, but it's a ball one and one. And when it's late in the game and you start getting a bad call or two on the mound, things can go downhill quickly. One and two now. And now we've got a pitcher that's near the end and a power hitter that feasts on mistakes. This often bodes trouble. And he'll throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. And the slurve can't find the zone, and it's two and two. And now on the mound, you can't worry about the shutout anymore. You need to get out. Ugla swings and misses on a good two-strike pitch that time as he's retired for route number two. And that could have been a turning point right there. He needed to at least put that ball in play. Now with two outs, this rally could go right down the tubes. Cody Ross will stand in as their last chance now. Took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. But that'll be off the teal monster out there in left. Now the relay home. And Ionetta's tag is not going to be in time as the run comes in to score. And you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound. He's probably pumping him up a little saying, Hey, look, you're pitching your tail off. Don't get down yourself. You can get out of this. Come on, let's go. Now the skipper Jim Tracy's up out of the dugout heading toward the mound. And we'll see a change on the mound as that's going to do it for Tim Redding. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Rafael Betancourt will slide in now and try and work out of this one. So a runner at second, two down now, and standing in the dangerous first baseman, Jorge Cantu. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. First pitch coming. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to first and the ball game is over. Good job there to close this one out as he picks up his first save of the season right there. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matt, he couldn't get that final out in the ninth, but still, eight and two-thirds good innings, and he was on his game here in this one. So that'll just about do it. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire San Diego-based flight crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been a presentation of MLB 10 The Show. For more, don't forget to check us out online at MLB10theshow.com. The Rockies come out on top, 4-2. to two. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night.